Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwaf, that will be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan, I abide from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh. For Hashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah. Yahweh Shai. As commanded. And now, um, this lesson is going to be going into these uh, false teachers, prophets, and, 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 and antichrists, man. Which is many antichrists. Those, are, those, those who are set against our Lord, you know. But I'm going to start off real quick in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. Okay. Um, um, going into uh, when the disciples are asking the Lord, um, what, what shall be the end of the world? You know what I mean? And, and, the, and, 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 and it's coming. What the Lord told them, he, he told them certain signs and certain things to look for. You know, you know, he told them about the wars and the rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. But the point I want is how he told them to look for, for how he told them to don't be deceived, man, by, 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 by false prophets, okay? And um, people coming, uh, you know, in that demonic spirit, all right, which is not the spirit of our Lord. They ain't coming in the spirit of our Lord, so don't, don't listen to them. You have to have the, the spirit of discernment, okay? Um, this is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. It says, And as he sat upon the, all, the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So this is my point. You don't want to be deceived. The Lord said, don't, 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 don't let no man deceive you, man. You see? Uh, verse 5. It says, for many shall come in my name, saying I am Mashiach, right? And shall deceive many. You see? Shall deceive many. Now we know the word right here, uh, verbatim, it says uh, Christ, right? But we know that's, that's the Greek or the Latin, you have uh, 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 Christos. But we know, our, uh, we know, we say Ma Mashiach, okay? Which is in the Hebrew. You see, which means um, anointed, okay. But um, the point is, and it continues on. It continues on to say to go into you know, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. You know, for king, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows, okay? But the point, what I wanted is verse 6, verse 4, and verse 5, where it says, Take heed that no man deceive you. You see? For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. So you have a lot of false pastors out here, okay? False prophets, okay? The, the, Lord, the Lord did not send them, okay? But yet they run it, okay? Many, many of them preaching uh, for 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 content for uh, uh, contention and strife. A lot of them preaching for filthy lucas sake, but they're not really uh, preaching in truth and in sincerity, man. Because if they was preaching in truth and in sincerity, they would be teaching the word right. They wouldn't be leading the people astray, and they would be calling the Lord by his by his correct name, man. Okay, which is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Okay, Bahashim in the name in the Hebrew. Okay, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, the begotten son, the Lord's begotten son, which is our Lord and Savior, man. Okay, so you have a lot of these camps out there that be saying, uh, like IUIC, they be saying Christ bless. Okay, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that's not the name of the Lord, man. And the scripture tell you uh, there's only uh, one name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. You see, 
So if you call in, if you call it, if you call in on the wrong names, it's no way that you could be delivered, man, by calling on the wrong names. You see? You got to call the Lord by his by his true name. You got to address the Lord by his true name, okay? You see, the scriptures tell you how things written aforetime was written for our learning, man. Okay, um, Pro, uh, Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. You see, things written aforetime was written for our learning, right? So at the end of the day, when you read the scriptures, that's why the scriptures say, Revelation 1 and 3, blesses, the man, blesses he that read it, man, and keep the, 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 the sayings, the, the things that are written in this book, man. All right? Meaning the prophecies, man. You see? Now, real quick, when you go here, this is why you got to read the scriptures. Uh, this is what's, what's this? Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 17 and verse 10. What does it say? It says, And the elect shall praise his holy name. See, not everybody has the name, but the elect will have that name. Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Bahashim in the name, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You see, but these camps, they're not teaching it. The leader of uh, the IUIC, he, he noticed because he taught lessons on this. But they say most, most, they say most high and Christ blessed. Well, the Lord, the Lord has a name, man. Okay? He has a name. You see? So, you got to be mindful of, of anybody deceiving you, man. You got to be mindful of that. You know? The, what, what the Lord say? Uh, the Lord say, um, let me see if I can get that in the book of Matthew. I think it's the 12th chapter. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30, I think it is. What did the Lord say? Um, it says, this red letter is our Lord speaking. It says, he that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. So if you ain't gathering with the Lord, you're scattering abroad, man. How can you be gathering with the Lord if you're calling them by the wrong name? How you you, you ministering to him, you got a, you got a congregation and you minister into your congregation, but you ain't calling the Lord by his true name. How about Shim Yahweh Shai? How are you gathering with him if you're saying most high and Christ bless? Okay? You see? No, nah, man. Two cannot walk together except they agree. That's why uh, I love what the elders some say, man. Uh, uh, they don't we, we don't do we're not we're not finna do no uh uh uh, uh unity camps, man. Because two can't walk together except they agree. You see? They a lot of these camps come in the spirit of Antichrist, man, because they know certain things and they won't teach it. I mean, at least the leaders know. They know. All right, let's get, um, we're going to go to first. See, because there's certain things, that's, you, 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 can't do, you, can't, you can't teach the word how you want to, okay? You got to go according to the scriptures. You see, let's go get the book of First, first John. See, certain things, First John the fourth, chapter I started verse 1. It's certain things which you must do. Okay? It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the Most High. You see, you have to try them. Try the spirit. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Right? You see? It says, Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh is of the Most High. You see? Verse 3, this is the point now. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach has come in the flesh, this is not of the Most High. And this is, the, this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. So these Antichrists in the world is more than one Antichrist. If you were against the Lord, okay, you are Antichrist, man. All right? So if you know the Lord's name, uh, 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 all right, especially for somebody you know the Lord's name, but you're not teaching it, you're in the spirit of Antichrist, man. You set against the Lord. You see? So, <laughs> at the end of the day, you have to, you have to be mindful, man. You got to you, you gotta be uh, suspect of some of these so-called prophets and so-called pastors, man. You see? Um, let's get, uh, let's go to 1 John chapter 2. We're going to get verse verse um, 18 it says little children it is the last time and as ye have heard that antichrist shall come even now there are many antichrists whereby ye know that it is the last time so there's many antichrists man there's a lot of people that's in this world that's set against our lord man you see you see 
And this is, you got to be careful and mindful of them, man. Um, let's go to let's go to uh, Second John. Okay, let's go to Second John, one and verse seven. Second John chapter one and verse seven. It says, "For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that the hour shall Mashiach is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist." Okay, so the Lord. You know, one of his titles is the Word of God, man. Okay, Revelation, the, uh, what's that? The 19th chapter and the 13th verse. Okay. And um, scriptures tell you how uh, St. John, the first chapter and the 14th verse, how the Word was made flesh. Okay. So the Lord came in the flesh, man. The, the Heavenly Father sent his begotten Son to be that pr propitiation, man. To be that sacrifice to give uh, uh, remission of sin to the nation of Israel, man. So that we could be brought, brought back to the Father, okay, that adoption, because why we transgress against him, and this is our way, we was coming back to the husbandman, you know, because we, 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 we the woman, okay? The nation of Israel is, is likened unto a calm and delicate woman, and the, the Mosiah is the husbandman, and we transgress against the Lord, and he sent his begotten son to give us a way to come back to him, man, that he won't uh, 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 cast us away, okay? But he keep his, uh, his promise to Abraham, man, that you know he's gonna he's gonna uh, give us the land, okay, uh, 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 Jerusalem, uh, Israel, okay, for his people, all right, and he's gonna remember his covenant, man, w with them forever. You know, we, we 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 broke the first covenant, but he have a new one for us. That uh, I don't want my desire of a special number of the elect that we're gonna enter into that new covenant, man, when we are changed, as the apostle Paul says. You see. But in the meantime, you got to do the work and will of the Lord and, and do what's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. And in the meantime, between time, read the scriptures, okay, and apply the scriptures, apply the wisdom that you learn, okay, resist the devil, okay, and, 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 and uh, 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 be circumspect, man, and mindful of these false preachers, man, and, uh, and, 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 and the antichrist that's uh, that out here that, that's set against our Lord. Okay, let's get Matthew chapter 7. Uh, Matthew chapter 7. I think it's round about verse 15. Okay, Matthew chapter 7 and verse 15 it says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raven, ravening wolves, man. So you got to be careful out here, man. You see? You got to be careful out here, man. That's why you need to be taught, okay? And you, you need to, uh, uh, you know, stay in the scriptures, man. And if it be of the Lord's will, the Lord will sup with you as he tells you, you know, he knock on the door, you open up. He's going to come in and sup with you, Revelation 3.15. Okay, and then you'll be able to have that discernment. It's all of the, the Mosai, Yahweh, Bashib, Yamashai, you know, speaks of the Lord, the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, he, will, he, he will give you to his son who will raise you up in a lot of times. So let me grab that real quick. This is uh, the book of St. John, chapter 6. I think it's 44, 644. St. John chapter 6. And um, verse 44. It says, No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last days. This is red letter. This is our Lord Yahweh Shai. So the, the, this is all of the Lord, man. The Lord of the open their eyes up to this thing as it tells you in the book of um, uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Okay. The Lord is the one who take you out of darkness and bring you into his marvelous light, man. It's not of your own self. You see? Faith, for this faith, faith is a gift, man. And the scriptures tell you how every good gift comes from above. So, yeah. I'm going to end it here, but I'm going to get one more scripture that comes to mind. I'm going to end it there. Because you, false pastors, you know, the scripture speaks about even uh, uh, the, 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 the deceived and the deceivers are his, man. Okay, as I tell you in the book of Job, man. You see, but at the end of the day, the scriptures tell you in Ezekiel, the 14th chapter, also at the 9th verse, where it says, um, you know, if a, pa if, a, if, a, if a prophet be deceived, I, the Lord, have deceived, uh, deceived that pastor, that, that prophet, Salakia, and I will stretch out my hand upon him and destroy him. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. So at the end of the day, you, 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 uh, uh, you, 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 uh, so-called prophets or pastors out there, that, that, that's doing the work of the Lord deceitfully, hey, it's a, it's a punishment, man. Okay? It's a punishment. Um, let me get this one. Uh, Jeremiah 23, we're going to close out. Right, right there. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 23. 
and verse 1, and we could close out. All right, it says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy the scatter, destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Thus said, therefore, thus said the Lord, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, said the Lord. So at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah, man. That's it. <laughs> Woe unto you, man. Okay. All right. So I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.